So when you're in the middle of a playoff series, you can't be worried about hurting guys' feelings. You gotta go with your best players. And while Thad Young, our power forward, has been awesome for us uh, in previous playoffs, this year is not really cutting. The, the, the shots that he's made before just are not going in. And so, might be time to get Nigel Hayes in there at that starting four spot because Nigel Hayes has actually been very good for us in these games against OKC. Just more versatility, shooting, everything. It's time to get Ni Nigel Hayes in there as the starting four. But there are some other adjustments we can make as well. Um, I want to get Gary Harris in there to start at the shooting guard spot to get us some more shooting because in game two, I think the real reason we lost was we just couldn't make enough open shots. More than once, we, we had an open opportunity, it just didn't drop. So, as great as Moutier has been, if the shooters aren't making their shots, it's kind of tough to beat OKC, you know? Gallinari also um, probably didn't play as many minutes as he should have in game uh, two, so we'll look to get him some more. But also an interesting um, dynamic developing here is the way OKC is defending Moutier. They've been double teaming me, which the Spurs did not do. And you will see in this game three that, um, well, I'm forced to react to it. And you can see that it definitely plays a part in uh, the outcome of this game is the best way to put it. So it's game three in Oklahoma City. Chance to go up 2-1 for somebody. We're tied at 1-1 here. And with all that, allow me to confuse the hell out of you by starting this at the beginning of the second half because a lot happens, trust me. But even with that, we can still sum up how the first two quarters have gone. I said that I want to get Gary Harris uh, starting to give us some more shooting. Right on cue, my man's open for three and he drops it. That's really good. That's a good sign. And also, Justin Anderson, who had some misses in game two, he drops this one. Well, he didn't exactly drop it. It kind of did like four cartwheels in the air, but eventually it went in, so that's good. And also, remember the double teams? Yeah, they kind of just left Nigel Hayes open. OKC is being aggressive on Moutier, but at the same time, they're playing kind of stupid defense. And Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant were still in my nightmares in the first half. So, there's no real surprises from OKC, although that was probably the stupidest shot that I've ever seen in the history of 2K. Well, it's up there. I've been hit with a few turnarounds from David Lee. Durant hit that one as well. And I also mentioned I want to get Gallinari some more minutes, because he really wasn't playing much in the other one. He was in there, but Thad Young, oh my goodness. I mean, he was coming off the bench, and look at these shots that he missed in the first half. Look at this, he's over Baysmore and he can't make it. Listen, Thad, there's a reason why you're not starting and this is it. Also, I will say in the first half, Moutier was Moutier. Whenever we had moments of uncertainty in our offense, if we could get a shot off or whatever, just give the damn ball to him. I mean, he's just going to run over somebody. That was clearly an offensive foul, but... And then to end the first half, it went exactly how you'd think it'd go. Moutier gets wide open on a pick and roll. I'm feeling good, thinking, all right, we got a four-point lead and a bit of momentum going into this second half, but you saw the score in the beginning, so KD just said, yeah, no. You ain't getting that comfortable. Because like I said, there's a lot to get to in this second half. It's a one-point game. They still can't hit free... What is this? Okay, I have the free throw difficulty turned up to, like, 55 just to make it a little tougher on me. Does that affect the CPU as well? I don't know. Justin Anderson missed that shot earlier. We left Ibaka wide open and then some. Even though that was kind of a risky pass by Durant, it didn't matter. And so OKC has a three-point lead going into the um, fourth quarter. Again, a lot happens. Time constraints, man. You want a 25-minute video? I didn't think so. Fourth quarter, down three points, about four minutes left to go. Look at this double team. What is that? Is that a Scott Brooks double team? I know Billy Donovan is coaching the Thunder now. What kind of double team is that, man? Like, you can use a double team in strategic moments, but don't just do it like that. And then, with the little spin move in the air that Moutier likes to bust out every now and then, we got a two-point lead. Looking pretty good. But, OKC, they just love to troll me. It's one thing to, like, get a lead on me. It's another thing to make me think I've got something. And then Thonmaker, for, you know, maybe the first time in his career, forgets how to play defense. OKC loves to troll. 45 seconds left, a very bad pass by Bazemore. I mean, even in my Knicks series, with all the shots he was hitting, 
he wasn't known for being a distributor. You know what I mean? Who's this defendant Moutier? What is that, Abaka? I don't know, Abaka and Durant look like the same damn person sometimes. Look at that flying layup. Only Moutier can make a shot look that good. And so here comes Westbrook. Moutier's in his defensive stance. There's about, what, 25 seconds left? Westbrook, little sidestep, the shot at the free throw line. That's good. Russell Westbrook gives OKC the lead. And we gotta react. Let me tell you, we gotta react quickly. 21 seconds left. We just gotta go. We don't need a three-pointer. We can go for the quick two, but we can't waste any damn time. I've had similar situations like this, and sometimes when I call for the screen, the guy takes a year and a half. Nigel Hayes, he gets there eventually. That's good. Moutier to the rim, and that is beautiful. Moutier, so good in the clutch. And so now OKC has to react with, what, 15 seconds left? Come on, Billy Donovan, you can run up some sort of play here, right? Westbrook, just looking. What's he going to do? He actually passed the ball off? That's surprising. Cantor, oh my goodness. Thankfully, I don't call any timeouts, so as a result, I have one more left. 3.6. This is ridiculous, man. Now I gotta score with this much time left. Moutier, where are you? I'm not. The last thing I'm gonna do is listen to that damn 2K arrow. I gotta run around. Oh god. Westbrook is staying with me. The double team again. Hayes wide open. Why did y'all double team? What is wrong with y'all? You had this game, OKC. What are you double teaming for? Good thing for Nigel Hayes, he didn't get nervous with, you know, shooting the ball from like two feet away. I would have probably missed that shot in real life. So to overtime, Westbrook fouls Justin Anderson. And so he's heading to the free throw line. Underrated skill for us is we're really good at free throws outside of like a couple of dudes. Two point lead, 55 seconds left. Come on, Hayes. Give me a good screen. Okay, I see you right there. And that wasn't the shot that I ideally would have wanted, but with the shot clock winding down, it was pretty much all we had. I fouled Durant there on the push-off, but they didn't call it, so I'm thankful for that. And Westbrook. Russ. Look at this friggin' score. This game is a joke. But we still have a chance to win. Moutier inside. Yeah, Cantor, you weren't even jumping. Where is Steven Adams, man? Hell. Just having a Baca down there would have made the difference. Westbrook, what's he gonna do again? You gonna shoot the ball this time? Well, you see, he just kind of runs over Nigel Hayes. More than once, we've had that not be called when it really is an offensive foul. And so, here we go. The shot clock and the game clock are almost identical. Moutier and Westbrook are having a stare down. We've seen situations like this before. We've seen Moutier come through. And I waited maybe a second too long to get this screen from Thonmaker. But let's see what happens. Cantor, he decides to defend Moutier. The lane is open! Thonmaker with 1.5 seconds left. My goodness. If you go back and look at that, there was like 0.2 seconds when I, that, that actually went in the basket. I waited too long on that screen. So here we are. Two points. Is OKC going to kill me with a three-pointer? Are they going to tie this up? Am I going to have to have the second overtime be another video? What's going to happen? Oh no, Durant's open under the basket. Thawne got it. Thawne maker. He got the steal. And we take a 2-1 series lead on this cluster F of a game three where Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant combined for 60 friggin' points. And we still found a way to win this thing. Moutier, who, that's like a legitimate all-time performance. So game four has got to be pretty real for OKC to tie this up.